So now let's come to this, and this may help you understand some of the differences between the medieval theology um, and Luther's theology. So two understandings of salvation. On the one hand, we've got Roman Catholic or Thomistic understanding of, of, um, of salvation, and on this other side, we've got Luther's. So here it is. So here, this, this represents the human being, and humans are all fallen. Now what is the fall? The fall is a loss of grace. And it's a partial loss, but it's a real loss. And so the process of salvation is a matter of, you know, coming down, you lose something, but nature remains pretty much intact, but not entirely. And grace is what you need in order to make up the difference of what you lost. Now, of course, it helps you get there faster if you've got faith. Faith and good works work together so that that grace really moves you toward the, the, the full process of salvation. Now, I've just explained to you kind of this, this inclined plane, natural man, virtuous man. And uh, what you want to do is move from this position of being natural to being a person of virtue. And this runs along this line. You're sinful here but you lose some of your sinfulness, you become more and more righteous. More and more righteous. Now on this other side, good works, Roman Catholics always say you're saved by grace. You're saved by grace. But the grace that you're saved by is that little bit that allows you to do the good works. So it's a grace that operates inside of you. It's infused grace, okay? Good works done in grace. That's how this functions. So um, this is a little bit of what I would call a spiritual treadmill, but we can debate that later on. Let's talk about Luther now and see if we can get some kind of, you know, kind of uh, you know, correspondence here. So for Luther, the fall is not so much a loss of grace as it is an upward rebellion. Adam wants to be God. Think about it. Adam wants to be God. Doesn't want to be a glad and happy creature of God, but wants to be ruler of his or her own life. That's what the fall is. It's an upward rebellion. It's a shaking of the fist saying, you're God, I don't trust you for it. I'm a little afraid of what you might try to do with my life. So thank you very much, I'm gonna go on my own pathway. And our sinfulness shoots out in a thousand different directions. Some person might have greed as their thing, some person might have some other kind of notion, but it goes out in a hundred different directions. We are all very good original in our sin. Yeah, we're very creative people. We're original with our sin. I mean, it's not that Adam gave us this problem. It's that we all have the problem. Right, yeah. And so it's described such in Scripture. So now what, has, what, what Luther wants to say is this. There is no part of us that remains unaffected by sin. Our, our, our entire being, our intellect, as well as our uh, physical desires have been touched by this. So there's nothing in our lives that hasn't been touched by sin. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? And so grace is not aid to do the next good work, as you have on this system. Grace is not that little bit, but grace is understood in a different manner. Grace is unconditional acceptance. God says, I see you, you're a sinner, but I receive you anyway. You are mine, I love you, and I promise to drive all sin from your life and bring you whole and complete into the kingdom. Unconditional acceptance. That's what Jesus does. That's the nature of grace. So it's not that little bit of gas you put in the car so you can go five more miles. Grace is an all-embracing quality. As a matter of fact, justification is not a movement from vice to virtue. God's wrath is against immorality and religious pride. So it's a two-edged sword. You thought he was only mad at you because you were a murderer, right? No. It's that he's a little upset with your religious pride. You think you're so dang good over and against others. So both of these kinds of qualities come under God's wrath. So... Um, that's kind of the, 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 the twofold way of viewing this salvific matter. Grace is the death of the old Adam raising up to new life. 